Hi, I'm Anne Mwawadu. Here's your channel's TV morning news update for September the 17th, 2019. In the wake of xenophobia in South Africa, President Mohamedou Buhari has pledged that the relationship between Nigeria and the country will be solidified. Responding to apologies from South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, he described the attacks on Nigerians and other foreigners in that country as very unfortunate. The president spoke yesterday when he received South Africa's special envoy, Mr. Jeff Radebe, at the presidential villa in Abuja. Staying in the nation's capital, Vice President Professor Yemiya Shibajo has hinted that the newly appointed ministers will deliver their first performance report by December 2019. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the annual National Management Conference of the Nigerian Institute of Management, Professor Shibajo explained that each of the ministers have specific mandates and action plans given to them by the president. Meanwhile, the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency has asked Niger, Kwara, Kogi, Edo, Rivers and Bayelsa states to brace up for more flooding in this month of September. According to the Director General of NISA, Mr. Clemens Onyaso, there is a steady water level rise in the Niger Basin that is expected to overflow Nigeria's borders through Kebi State. On the international scene, the United States has released satellite images and intelligence that claims supports allegation Iran was behind attacks on two oil facilities in Saudi Arabia. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had blamed Iran at the weekend without evidence, prompting Iranian authorities to accuse Washington of deceit. Officials, however, suggested launch sites in the northern Gulf, Iran or Iraq. Adding sports national under-20 women's head coach Christopher Danjuma is expected to lead the Super Falcons in the second round of the African qualifiers for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic women's football tournament against Cote d'Ivoire. The team's head coach Thomas Denaby has yet to report to camp over unresolved issues with the Nigeria Football Federation. Nigeria will face Cote d'Ivoire on October the 6th at the Gege Stadium. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.